Good morning. Hey. My mom and I are going to a vintage kilo sale. If you don't know what a kilo sale is, it's basically you pick out a bunch of clothes, it comes to a kilo, you pay 20 pounds. It's 20 per kilo. But I'm excited. We're gonna get dressed. We're gonna go. We're gonna have a good time. Hopefully we'll find some cute clothing. It's all stuff from America. I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Okay. <laughs> This is the outfit of the day. I just need shoes. And these pants are just so cute. I'll do a little haul when I get back. I'm just waiting for my mum to come downstairs so we can go. We also have decided we're going to go to some other charity stores. I don't know how much I'm going to film at these places. I get very nervous filming in public. It's never going to be something that I'm comfortable doing, I don't think. I'll try and film a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but we're going to go to some other charity stores, so I'll do a little haul at the end of it. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. We'll see. Anyway, I'm, I've got to go. <laughs> tiny little haul that I've managed to, to get. Um, I'm gonna get into something a bit more comfortable. That is better. So, we got to the Vintage Kilo sale. I didn't film very much. I honestly was way too nervous. There was a lot of people there. It wasn't as nice as I thought it was, would be. I only really had a couple of things that I liked and managed to get. I got four things. They're all very generic. I could have actually gotten them from anywhere, any, any charity stores. Instead of having to pay 20 pounds for four items, I'm realizing I could have just gone to Echo and paid 20 pounds for 20 items. But you know, I digress. Unless you go to these things, you don't know. And it's a day out. It's a, it's an, it's an event, you know. So all of the clothing seemed a little bit okay. For for starters, most vast majority of the stuff was stained. I've got two things that highly need to be soaked in stain remover, and which I'm gonna do after I finish the video. And a lot of, and you could see that everything had been vacuum sealed, obviously because it's been shipped from America, but it has stayed in vacuum pack sealing, somewhere damp. So everything was very crinkly. A lot of it was old, like really tatty. They they call it vintage when really it's just old. It's old. It's old stuff, tatty, and it needs mending. And it was just a lot of crap. I'm just gonna say it. But it was fun to go and see. In fact, it was so, quite fun to know that there is a nightclub there, and you don't have to be a student, I don't think, to go. So that's fun. But in general, the consensus from both my mother and I, it was not worth going to. I got four items which 100% didn't come to 20 kilos and was definitely under 20 kilos, but I, I paid 27 pounds. I thought it was meant to be 20. It just wasn't, I, I don't see how that worked. And I'm actually curious, I wanna weigh it, but then I don't wanna be petty, but you know, there's just no way. And they didn't specify if maybe some items like denim items or suede items cost more, had a different price on them. It just says 20 pounds per kilo. That's literally it. That was the, that was the byline. Twenty pounds per kilo, and that's what you take going into it. You don't expect to pay more than twenty kilos, or just under. So I, I don't know. It, I paid thirty pounds technically. Enough about that. Um, I personally won't be going to this one again. Maybe I'll go to a different one, but not not the company that I went to this time. We also took a detour and we went to the we went to a little town where they have really nice charity stores. All in all, it was a really nice day. It was just nice to spend time with my mom. That was it. That's just it. I was just loving spending time with my mom. So I'll go through these in order of things that I found. Starting with this, I got this cute little pleated skirt. I don't like that it doesn't have pleats at the back, but we're gonna skip that. How cute is this skirt? It is so adorable. The best, the best part about this is it has a pocket, a very deep pocket. The only thing I wish it had was shorts in it. It's got a pocket on the other side as well. It's got two pockets. I didn't know that. It has pockets. <laughs> Sorry, that's very exciting for women. As, as women and girls, we thrive having deep pockets on our clothing. We don't get that very often, especially on skirts and dresses. Turquoise, teal, I don't know. There's that scene from Devil Wears Prada where she's like, you're not wearing turquoise or teal, it's cerulean or whatever. So cute. I, I love that. The next item that I found was this, and I, I've been wanting one of these, pink denim jacket. How stinking cute. It needs to be washed terribly. And everything smells of damp, just to put that out there. It smells of damp. All of the tags say made in the US, made here, made there. But how adorable is this? The next item that I got, which ideally I could have actually bought from anywhere in the world. 
or any store. Dark denim blue with brown trim or brown um, thread. It looks so nice. Anyway, I got these high-waisted. I had a pair of shorts like this a very long time ago and I, I lost them. So I'm very happy that I found another pair and they're so cute. I can't wait to wear these in summer when summer decides to arrive. Okay, my last item that I got from the vintage thing, the keto sale, is something very gimmicky and something that I wouldn't normally buy because I'm not, I'm not a big Disney person. I mean, I like Disney, but I'm not a Disney adult. I'm not a Disney, I like Disney. I like the songs, I like the movies, but I am not a Disney person. But I am a big oversized jumper person, as you can tell. I have three jumpers that I wear on rotation. This is the new one. I used to have two, now I have three. Now I have four. First, I wanna talk about the feel of this. This is such high quality cotton. It is 80% cotton and 20% polyester. And it was made in the USA. It feels so like thick and luxurious and soft. It is so soft, but it's got a massive stain on it. The other part about this is all the, the, the Mickeys from throughout the years. How stinking cute is that? It's adorable. So they've got they've got Mickey from 1928, 1931, 1936, 1955, and then the Mickey of today, which I actually think is incorrect. I think they've changed Mickey as of now. I think he's a little bit different. Cute. And I love that the classic 1936 Mickey is embroidered and not um, laminated on the, the, the fabric, but this is absolutely beautiful. I, I must say it's absolutely stunning. <sighs> So that was one of my favorite purchases was this. This was a, just a lucky find. When you go to these things, you really have to dig. And we were late as well because there had been a car accident outside of our roundabout and they had to close off the road and stuff. Last and final item that I didn't get at the vintage kilo store, I got this at one of the charity stores in Halstead. I saw one of these in Anthropology and really wanted to get it. It was, but they wanted like a hundred and something for it. It was, it's Anthropology of course, so it's expensive. It's unnecessarily expensive for what it was, anthropology. A silk skirt, a silk long skirt. I also got a bunch of, you know, I've been getting into sewing. My sewing journey is taking me down a dark path, it really is. Anyway, so I got a bunch of sewing patterns of all different things. So this one's lingerie, jumpsuits. We've got dresses, tops, the works. We've got evening gowns. And then this is my favorite, Halloween costume. Sexy Halloween costume. I'm excited to, Dig my hand into these when my sewing actually gets better. You'll see in the next video. Anyway, so that is everything that I got. Let's, I don't really wanna try this stuff on because it's not clean yet, but eh, I'll wash myself. Let's try it on. Starting with the turquoise, teal, cerulean. Starting with this skirt. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm excited to wear this in summer. And look, it has pockets. The only thing I'm concerned about is it's rather short yeah it's particularly quite short at the back but i always wear shorts underneath my skirts and my dresses and stuff so i've got my brick of a phone ready you don't understand having to use our hands and as and carry bags and stuff is great and all but having pockets they take my entire phone what else can I fit in these? I need to look. To carry on the test, I've got everything that I normally carry with me. So Vaseline, because my lips are forever dry. My purse. And then some mints. And there's still some space in this one. This one's a bit cramped. And I'm starting to look like I've got extra hippage going on. The skirt's about to fall off. Yeah. Okay, on to the next. So the shorts are nothing to call home about. They're just shorts. I just love them. I do love that they're high-waisted. Tell you what, this is wonderful quality. It's heavy, the buttons feel sturdy. I think this reminds me very much of my dad's vintage Levi denim jacket that he gave me years ago. It's, it's of exquisite quality. But um, yeah, now for my absolute favorite purchase of the day. I'm in love with this jumper. It is wonderful. Look at it. Look, it has got a massive stain on it, like right there. I don't know what they spilt on it, but they didn't do a very good job of getting it out. But look at this. Oh. And it's so soft. Oh my god, I don't want to take it off. But it needs to go in the wash. I like how long it is. It's about the same length as my other ones. But I feel like I could wear this as a dress. And this is why I buy so many 
oversized jumpers because I live in them. Final, final thing that I'm trying on is the long navy blue skirt. Okay, it's super crinkly right now. It needs to be ironed. But man, this is this feels wonderful. This feels like good quality. Like I feel like I could wear this with maybe like a white crop top. Ooh, I like the sway of it. Anyway, this is the length. The length goes all the way to the floor, kind of, almost. That is everything I got from the vintage keto sale and the little trip to the charity stores. That's everything I got. I would, will say I was a little bit disappointed about the kilo sale. It's not a total waste. And I found this absolute gem of a jumper and that absolute gem of a skirt with the pockets. But anyway, guys, have a lovely day and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.